only eating at KFC for a full day. So I had to drive to three different locations to find this pot pie. And when I tell you it was worth every second, it's rich, it's creamy. It's got those big tender chunks of chicken. And oh my gosh, the best part is the crust. So freaking flaky and buttery and just delicious. I also tried their Nashville hot chicken tenders and I think they forgot my pickles, but that's okay because again, the chicken was really tender, so crispy. And the Nashville hot sauce honestly reminded me more of like a chili oil, which you already know I'm obsessed with. And dipping it and the sweet honey mustard was a game changer. You literally have to try this. It was so good. Anyway, then for lunch, of course, I had to get a bucket of their original fried chicken and I forgot how juicy it is. And there's just something about those 11 herbs and spices. It's super nostalgic, really flavorful. And oh my gosh, I added honey, game changer, sweet and savory. And again, so juicy. I also got some mashed potatoes and gravy, of course, really soft and fluffy. They literally melt in your mouth. And I don't know that I've had one of their biscuits before. They're not quite as soft as Popeyes, but they do have like a little crisp on the outside. They're really good with the mashed potatoes and gravy though. And then I tried dipping the chicken in the mashed potatoes and it literally tastes like Thanksgiving dinner, which I am not complaining about, like comfort food to the max. And I didn't forget the sweet tea. It's super sugary, but also like refreshing. And finally for dinner, I was back again for their new mac and cheese bowl. And I thought the cheese on top was supposed to be melty, but after mixing it up, it got all soft. And anyway, it was definitely really rich and the chicken added like a much needed crunch, but maybe I was just KFC'd out because it was insanely salty. And anyway, that's all for today. Only eating at Applebee's for a full day. All right, so for lunch, I got these crispy wonton tacos and the shells were super light and airy and crunchy and the chicken was not bad. It was really sweet and savory and I actually really liked the coleslaw. It added some much needed freshness. And then I tried the quesadilla burger and you can order it pink or not pink. <laughs> and hear me out, it was delicious. Like juicy, so cheesy. It had a lot of crispy bacon and the tortilla was grilled really nicely. I was fully shocked at how good it was, but the fries were not it. They were kind of soggy. I mean, if you like soggy fries. Anyway, then I came back later for the mac and cheese with honey pepper chicken tenders, and the chicken is like super sweet, and the breading is thick, but it was pretty tender. The pasta was kind of mushy though. The bacon definitely added some flavor, but the garlic bread also didn't really taste like garlic, like, and the sauce was so bland. It just needed some seasoning or something. But this triple chocolate meltdown saved the day. It was so rich and moist, piping hot, and like the hot melted chocolate with the cold ice cream is the perfect combo. It's delicious. And anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Eating whatever I want for a full day. You guys, it's actually my last few days in America for a while and I really wanted to check out this trendy food hall near me. Look at these gorgeous tacos. They came with free chips and this chunky spicy salsa and I got this citrus pork taco that was smothered in this like tangy lime crema and this spicy chipotle sauce. They also gave me so much pork and it was super tender and the bang bang chicken tacos had this crispy fried chicken that was sweet. Also the tortilla shells were so soft and then I was still kind of hungry so I got one of these wood fire oven pizzas and it just had olive oil for sauce but so much cheese. It was like so incredibly rich and creamy and it also had this zesty ranch on top and oh my gosh, the crust was like perfectly chewy. This was incredible. Anyway, then later I wanted to go to another kind of like trendy food area and look at this freaking gorgeous chorizo fried rice. It was kind of like Mexican Asian fusion because it had this super spicy gochujang flavor with these grilled peppers and the rice got so crispy on the hot stone plate and the egg yolk was perfectly runny and thank goodness it was actually so spicy. And Finally, I got this green chili adobo chicken burrito and it was so like juicy, bursting with flavor, super savory and soft without being soggy. Honestly, like one of the best burritos I've had in a long time. And then I got a few beverages, delicious. And that's all for today. Only eating at Buffalo Wild Wings for a full day. So I started out with this massive cheese curd bacon burger that had two hand smashed patties, Wisconsin cheddar cheese curds, this super crispy bacon and these really like crunchy pickles. I really like the barbecue flavor too. And I feel like the cheese curds added a lot of texture and their fries had a really nice peppery flavor, a great crunch and the blue cheese wasn't too sharp, but it was really creamy. Then of course I had to get some wings. I heard their mango habanero were their best ones. And the first thing you taste is definitely the sweetness, but it's not like overly sugary. 
savory and then the heat sneaks up on you a little bit but it could definitely be spicier honestly these parmesan garlic ones were my favorite the cheesy like salty parmesan flavor was really strong and it was like intensely garlicky which i love anyway then i came back later for some fried pickles because i heard these were fire and i mean yeah like they were really crunchy not overly breaded and not too oily and the southwest ranch was really thick and a little zesty and i just love fried pickles and then i got their nashville hot chicken sandwich which had these like yummy pickled peppers and you could actually taste the cayenne in the nashville hot sauce like it wasn't just some random buffalo sauce but again it could have been spicier the chicken was pretty tender though and finally i got their loaded tots which were way better than the fries in my opinion like super crunchy and the cheese was all melty and i just love bacon and anyway that's all for today only eating at Bahama Breeze for a full day. So for lunch, I ordered these beef empanadas and honestly, they were really good. Like the pastry was so crispy and the beef filling was really well seasoned and it had a lot of flavor. And oh my gosh, this pineapple chutney was so thick and sweet. I also tried their jerk chicken pasta and they gave me so much chicken. Also the asparagus added a really nice crunch and the jerk chicken was actually so good. It was like spicy and tender. Honestly though, the sauce was pretty boring and the pasta was definitely overcooked, but that's okay. Cause for dinner, I went back and I got this skillet simmered jerk chicken shrimp and it came with this Cuban bread that was nice and warm and the garlic butter was delicious of course. Honestly the shrimp tasted pretty fresh too but the buttery Cuban bread was definitely the best part. And finally I tried their blackened mahi tacos that were fine. Like they had this zesty aioli that added some creaminess and the fish was really flaky. But then I added some of the shrimp garlic butter and that was a game changer. I think it just needed a little extra seasoning. The fries were fine. They had a nice crunch and anyway that that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Only eating my favorite food for a full day. So this is literally my last day in America for a long time. And I had to go to my favorite restaurant. They make the best drunken noodles I've ever had. They're so thick, perfectly chewy with crunchy mung beans and really tender shrimp. I dream about these noodles. And you guys, they have this house-made chili oil that literally rivals some of the chili oil I had in China. And these wontons are just bursting with that juicy, savory pork. Oh, and the chefs here are brother-in-laws from Thailand and Vietnam. And these bulgogi loaded fries are one of my favorite meals of all time like the crispy delicious seasoned fries with the crunchy spicy kimchi and it's got mayo queso and bulgogi so it's just like the perfect like flavorful combo it's so good anyway then i had to get one of my other favorite all-time meals which are these birria tacos oh my gosh the 12 hour slow braised brisket dipped in that rich broth with like the melty warm cheese and the crispy taco it is heavenly and i couldn't end the day out without my absolute favorite dessert of all time well maybe besides Ben and Jerry's, but anyway, this is the Oreo Dream Extreme Cheesecake. It is perfection. It's got this rich chocolate ganache frosting, this soft, smooth cookies and cream mousse, and the back of it with like the crunchy chocolate chips is my favorite part. Wow, what a great day. And that's all for today. Everything I ate flying from America to Greece. So I flew out of Tampa, Florida, and I flew on this Swiss airline where almost immediately we got our first meal. The coleslaw was honestly pretty good. It was fresh and like fluffy. We also got chicken that was firm. It was really well seasoned though, but the best part was this flaky pastry with like this whipped cream icing that was smooth and the vanilla glaze on top was super sweet. This was so good. And oh my gosh, you guys, they kept giving me these rolls. Like they kept coming by and asking if I wanted one. I think I got like five of them, but they were really warm and soft. And of course I added lots of butter. Anyway, then I went to bed and in the morning they gave us breakfast and oh my gosh, they gave us this like crispy potato pancake thing. I also loved the mushrooms and we also got fresh fruit and strawberry yogurt. But the best part was this warm croissant. They gave us jam and butter and it wasn't like super flaky, but I've never had a croissant on a plane before, so I'm not complaining. And right before we landed, they gave us this little like gingerbread pastry thing that was so soft and like spicy and delicious. Oh, then we landed in Switzerland for a few hours and I'll show you everything I ate there tomorrow. And I saw a rainbow on the way out. It was so pretty. And finally from Switzerland to Greece, we got this cute little Swiss chocolate that was sweet and smooth and and that's all for today. Everything I ate in an airport in Switzerland. So this is the Zurich International Airport and there is chocolate everywhere. Like every other store sells chocolate. It all looked so fancy, but I absolutely had to try fondue. And wow, like the melted Gruyere cheese smelled heavenly and the bread was soft with that like crunchy outer crust. And oh my gosh, the fondue had this like sharpness to it and this beautiful, salty, rich creaminess. It just like soaked into the bread and melted in my mouth. And I heard lint is like the best chocolate in Switzerland. Look at these gorgeous piles of 
of chocolate. I got like every flavor. And then I stopped at this cafe where everything looked so good. But the lady said I had to try this plum tart and I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but it had this like soft custard and these sweet, really tart, delicious plums. Also, the crust was super buttery and I kept seeing this muesli everywhere. So this is a thick yogurt with oats and nuts and these crunchy apples and juicy berries. It's also got a really sweet honey flavor. It's super filling, but like really satisfying to eat. I also kept seeing pretzels literally everywhere. So I caved and I got this huge pretzel sandwich with these super thin slices of ham and pickles. And the pretzel had this delicious like salty flavor and of course, Swiss cheese, which was so soft, super flavorful too. I mean, definitely the best Swiss cheese I've ever had. And that's all for today everything I ate in Athens. So I'm literally Greek and I've never been to Greece before. So I was so excited. I went to this amazing bakery that was right by my hotel and they had these free samples of what I think was cherry pie. The filling was so thick and tart and sweet. And the lady said I had to try this chocolate bread. Why is chocolate so much better in Europe? Anyway, I also got this rolled baklava. It's called siragli and it's soaked in this sugary thick syrup. It has these crunchy nuts and also like a little tangy kind of acidic flavor. And this one's called kataifi. It's made from this shredded phyllo dough. It has this amazing texture. It's like a little crispy, but also so sweet and sugary and nutty. And back at my hotel, they had a breakfast set up. And did you even go to Europe if you didn't have a Nutella croissant? There's just something about the way that Nutella like coats your mouth. It's so good. And I also tried another chocolate croissant again with the chocolate. It's like perfectly bittersweet. It's so good here. And this pastry was filled with cheese that was super creamy and a little sweet too. And they also had this fresh squeezed orange juice machine. They had these like everywhere in China too. It's delicious. Then I had to go board my ship, but I could not leave without a gyro. It had this juicy marinated chicken, this delicious feta sauce and French fries. And oh my gosh, the pita was so soft and warm. And it also had like an aioli sauce, but the chicken was the star of the show. It was so flavorful. And finally I found this chocolate ice cream cone and like the whole cone was coated in this crunchy cold chocolate. So good. And that's all for today everything I ate my first day working on a cruise ship. So we boarded the ship just in time for lunch and headed straight to the mess, which looked so good. Like there were so many options. I couldn't even try everything. And look at this view while I ate. So stunning. First up, I tried this beef kebab that was so juicy, super flavorful and tender. And this chicken literally fell off of the bone and was marinated in this really like buttery sauce. And this pasta salad was so good. It had ham and peppers and this like amazing dill flavor. I was not expecting this food to be so good. And this fish was cooked perfectly, so flaky, and it had these sweet pickled onions and a really nice acidic sauce. And for dessert, I tried this like custardy whipped cream thing with peanut butter chocolate crumbs on top. It kind of had a Reese's ice cream vibe, really light. And then we had our first rehearsal, which ended kind of late. So dinner was already over, but they made us these sandwiches like just for us. It was so nice. This one had tuna. The bread was super soft. And this one was like ham and cheese, I think. Like a little bit of gas station sandwich sandwich vibes, but not bad. Our mess also has this cool automated coffee machine. So I got a double cappuccino that was absolutely delicious. And that's all for today.